What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today we do a rehouse. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. Want to use the turn when possible? No, we're not. So I picked up another spider, but first I want to tell you, I want to start breeding crickets. The spider is a dwarf species, so I do have some mealworms that I can feed it, but also I'm going to try a round of crickets, but I know more crickets are going to come out of this than I can actually feed to the spider. Look at all these females laying eggs right now. Look at that, y'all. Tons of them in there. All those are going to be babies. Just about every female I see is in that den laying eggs. Tons. If you guys want to see how I breed my crickets, um, I'll link that video in the description below I used to have this this whole wall used to be almost the whole wall there was a whole section here with a bunch of containers a bunch of crickets and let's see I had like eight containers and an incubator running but anyway that's not what this video is about I'll put that video in the description below now about the spider it is called a Trinidad Olive and it's a New World Spider. Now for those of you that are not familiar with tarantulas, there's New World and Old World Tarantulas. The Old World Tarantulas involve like uh, the European countries, Africa, Asia. Those spiders tend to be very aggressive, <laughs> very fast super fast and I particularly like the New World tarantulas. They're less aggressive, less they're more more docile on the docile side and perfect for beginners or people who just don't want those aggressive spiders. So this one here from Trinidad, New World. Um it's a dwarf species so it's a baby. It's a little sling which is a um, a word for spiderling is just shortened for sling and you saw the video of the enclosure build so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this spider in there and then as I'm doing this I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I got this spider but first let's do this all right let's get this set up take my little pin out and first thing I want to do is get some substrate in here. This substrate is pretty wet. It might be a little too wet, but it's going to be okay. It'll dry out. Let's see here. It's a stick. I'm going to put a lot of it on this side here and this is a terrestrial species which means they they're ground dwelling and are gonna dig push this down a little bit more 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 And these guys web heavily so I'm gonna put 
like some stuff in here, some twigs and twig twigs and sticks in here to give it some anchor points to uh, web up the enclosure. Give it some anchor points, some stuff to put its web in. wherever it wants to web up there we go i'm not going to put a whole bunch of stuff in here i'm not going to put a bunch of decorations in here because it's going to be totally covered in webbing some leaf litter and And I think that's about it. I'm going to keep it simple for this enclosure. Alright, now. I got two catch cups here just in case it escapes. Let me push this to the back. Get that out of the way. I got a small catch cup and a big one. Which I hope. I hope I won't need it at all. I hope. There we go little piece of paper so I can slide a piece of paper underneath the cup move the spider into the enclosure okay where are you there it is okay so this is the enclosure it's in right now see all that webbing all those holes the spider is actually in this hole right here All right, let's do this. And these guys are, from what I've read, are bolty. Which means they'll be fine one second and boom, the sec <laughs> next second. So let's see how this goes. All right, y'all, I need both of my hands and I need to move this camera out of my way. I'm going to try to see how much I can film. Let me move this camera over here zoom out you're not going to be able to see a whole lot hang on all right let's see these rehouse videos really are let's see want to I really ah uh, there it is let's see if I can uh, I don't know how good of a climber these things are Let's see if I could just put this down in here like that. This can go wrong very quickly. I got to get it out of this enclosure here. That is not what I want it to happen. 
Damn. I don't want that substrate. Got new stuff. There we go. Got new stuff for you, little kiddo. Let's see if I can show it to you. There we go. There's the spider. And here's my index finger. So it's pretty small. Small baby. All right, let's get it in its enclosure. This enclosure is going to be perfect for it for a little while. Oh, there it is. Almost out. Gently, gently, easy, kiddo. There we go. And we put in our pin. Hey, no fuss, no muss. That was easy. The easiest rehouse yet. It's beautiful. This one might be a male, y'all. So the females are like a greenish color and the males are gray. I don't know. Looks pretty grayish to me. And there you go. Nice. Got a nice fat booty. Look at that fat booty. <laughs> Love it. Alright, so now this little kid needs a water dish. I'm going to be using this little bottle cap from a Dr. Pepper bottle. So let me go rinse this out and put some safe water in there. Alright. Got its water dish, which is just a, a soda cap of dechlorinated water and I'm going to set that in as quietly as possible. You see it's climbing up this way. Oh, decided to go back. I don't want it to start climbing the walls or bolt. If it bolts I'm going to be... Uh oh, there it goes. I'm going to have to wait a minute. It's just uh, walking around the enclosure exploring it and that's totally Totally okay. All right, while the spider is exploring until it gets into a safe, safe place where I can finally put the water dish in. Um, I saw this ad on Craigslist for this spider and it took me about a good two to three weeks to decide whether I wanted it or not. I wasn't quite sure because they live like an hour and 45 minutes away and I really didn't want to make that drive so I asked the seller if they could ship and with it being so hot here right now she said it wasn't a safe thing to do that she's never shipped any before so decided to make that drive up there um, Joe went with me thank God <laughs> so we pull up and uh, a nice couple is a, a lady and her fiance a guy and um, I didn't get their names but they were pretty nice and they lived in a small house but they made such good use of their entire house they had all kinds of snakes spiders they had, I saw two cats they had a dog Joe said that they had a turtle an iguana did I say bearded dragon yet and then tons of spiders and they have all kinds of animals and they made such good use of the space that they had and every every tank was something that they were all clean very well cared for all the spiders looked yeah amazing just very well fed um, all the enclosures were super clean well cared for so you can tell they really cared about their animals and um, 
they did a really good job. Even this little little tiny thing here is uh, was really well cared for. You see, it, you saw the butt on it. It's got a huge abdomen, so well fed. But anyway, so yeah, very nice couple. So I'm excited to see this spider grow out to see how big it is. This is my first dwarf species, so it'd be kind of interesting how to see how big they get. I might get more of the dwarf size, something that's small and that doesn't get quite so big. Um, they did have a pink toe that was like three times the size of mine. Oh my, it was huge. So it must have been a female. It was very big. So once this one uh, molts out, next molt might be able to check to see if it's actually a male or a female. So that would be interesting. So, yeah, I'm very excited about this. Um, it's still right here at the top of the lid. I cannot open this right now because it's right there. And apparently it can climb glass. Not all spiders can climb glass, and apparently this one can. It is right there. See it right there? You see my pen? It's right there at the right there at the top, so obviously I cannot open this to put that water dish in there. <laughs> and tomorrow I'm gonna pull this little guy out and feed it. I'm gonna leave it in its enclosure overnight and check back with it tomorrow and and give it something to eat. And that's going to be its spot for now. Alright, hands down the easiest rehouse I've ever done. So, and I've only done how many? One, two, <laughs> two, two spider rehouses. So, not bad. Three. I've done three. Three spider rehousings. But, um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.